Minecraft. But the world is all ocean. I know this has been done before, but there's loads of cool tricks and strats I wanted to show you that most people don't know. How hard does this make Minecraft? Can you beat the game? Well today, that's what we're going to find out. Also, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe. This is the world. There was no land to spawn me on, so it just spawned me in the water. Good news, there's a ruin portal right there. Let's go and check it out. Let's see what we got. We got a bit of obsidian. To be honest, nothing too useful. I mean, those boots, either of them would be fine. My main goal to start with is to find some shipwrecks. There's one down there. Hopefully, it's got some food. No food, but there's plenty of iron and emeralds. Just realised emeralds are useless to me. <laughs> Going back in the chest. Over to my left, we have something I was hoping to see. An ocean monument. We're not quite ready to go there yet, but I do want to steal their gold. Tell you what, it's great to see a dolphin. More iron and a diamond. Nice. There's another monument just in the distance there. This next bit is going to be annoying. I'm going to try and get wood from this shipwreck. It's going to be a bit of a painful process, but I can get there eventually. Okay, not with drowns trying to attack me. What's he got a fishing rod for? I ain't a fish. I found what I was looking for. A shipwreck with a door. Now I can stand here and collect some wood much easier. I can now make some fancy tools, a bucket, and some armor. I think that's all I'll need for now. And then I'm going to completely dismantle this entire shipwreck. And a very useful thing for me is to make more doors. And now the most important search continues. I need food. I also completely forgot to get the treasure from here. Look at that. More iron. I mean, we don't really need all this iron at this point. But it's still useful. I should also make a boat. Sometimes ocean ruins are a good place to find food. So I'm going to hope for the best there. If we do get food, I'm going to tackle that monument. Let's see what this chest has. A bit of wheat. You know what? That's all I was hoping for. Make some bread, a bit more armor, and be on my way. Just before I burgle that monument, I'm gonna go and grab this shipwreck down here. Just as I was hoping, it has this chest. <laughs> Not I was hoping though. <laughs> Potatoes and rotten flesh. You never know. Things could get very serious, and we need to do that. Get some air here. Is there a chest in here? No, there's nothing. Tell you what, Ocean Ravines, great place to find iron. I don't need any iron, but still, <laughs> I mean, shipwrecks are an even better place. I'm going to smelt these potatoes. I think it's a good idea. And there we go. The food's cooking. Things are looking good. We're about to be rich with lots of gold. Now that I've an iron pick, these room portals are much more useful. So the key to any successful monument heist is to first approach it from the back. And you're probably thinking, SP, you're going to need milk to do this. Well, <laughs> Don't you worry about that. If we just turn our render distance down to two and then approach the monument like so. Okay, we've got to be careful of the guardians. They are very, very dangerous in hardcore mode. We then place a door here, mine our way in. Perfect, we're in. We're then going to break this, drop down. Okay, you just got to kind of keep moving. Is this going to be a good place? There's the gold. All right, we're going in, ladies and gentlemen. There is a lot of guardians here. You may be thinking, SB, you're so dead. No, I'm not dead, as you can see. Wait, I just made a mistake. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get out of me. If you stand over there, there is a chance you can get minor fatigue, so I... <laughs> kind of got to not throw across uh, that threshold. We then go like this. Okay, I feel like you're hurting me. Go away, please. All right, there is a lot of monument, a lot of uh, a lot of these fellows, but just mine your gold. No need to panic. And then you can swim in. Okay, I kind of messed this up a bit. Hold on. Now you can swim in. Grab your gold. We've got it all. And then you think, SB, how are you going to get out of this one? You know, you're kind of trapped. Don't you worry. You just go out through the floor and you're out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was a very, very successful heist. I mean, those Elder Guardians back there, they have no idea what just hit them. What's that in the distance? Another monument? <laughs> you bet we're going for the gold. I have realised I made a bit of a mistake of a mistake here. I forgot to bring any more doors, so this is my only door right now. So, I mean, I can still pick it up. I, I kind of left the other door. Where's that door? Okay, don't, don't. Get out of the way, Dolphin. No. That was because of you, Dolphin. No need to panic, though, because there's, there's literally none of these Guardians in this one. There we go. I should probably make some more doors. And mission successful. Open the door, swim your way in, grab the rest. The reason you want to avoid th crossing this threshold is because that's the next chunk, and then the Guardians will be able to minor fatigue you. Thank goodness for this. We've got more food. And now we can live the good life with golden carrots. And now comes the next bit of tech that I'm going to show you. Making a portal in a ravine. You've seen me do it in a lava lake tons of times, but have you seen me do it like this? So we're going to go... In fact, that's not going to work. Sand, get out of it. The door should be there. Put that there. Break this. Get rid of the water. And begin creating a portal. At this point, it's just the pretty much the standard bit. Once you've got all that filled in, you can then mine this block, mine this block, stick a block there, grab that, mine out both of these, put a bit of water there. Okay, we are missing a bit of water on the bottom, so we just need a little bit more lava, which I can grab from behind this cobblestone, so let's do that. Block that up, replace some water up here. Perfect. And I have no <laughs> I have no flint. I forgot about it. Wait, I have a fire charge. It's okay. And this is the nether. It's nice to be stood on solid ground for once and not in some water. Okay, we now need to try... I'm going to try and find a bastion, even though I've got all the gold I already need. I kind of want to show off some cool stuff you can do in the bastion. I should also make a gold helmet so I don't upset anybody. Looks like I've found what I'm looking for, a bastion. Okay. 
<laughs> I should probably watch what I'm doing here. I was so excited to show you guys the Bastion. I was zooming in on it, being all cinematic. <laughs> Completely forgot to look where I was going. So I've learned how to speedrun all Bastions. This, I'm not sure which one this is. It could be a housing. No, it is a, yeah, it's a Hoggling Stable. Actually, Hoggling Stables are known as the hardest ones to do. So I'm going to show you how it's done. We're going to go down these stairs. These stairs connect. The reason Hoggling Stables are so hard, because they're all random. You get good, get good sides and bad ones. So this is a bad, known as a bad side, a bad gap, because there is a block there. So there's no gold blocks on this side. There's no gold blocks on this side. So the bottom is terrible. But because I already saw that there's triple chests at the top, there is gold blocks up here. We go through into this room. There's gold blocks just under here. And because there's two chip, triple chest ramparts, this is so eight gold blocks in total. I don't actually need all the gold blocks because I've, I've got quite a lot of gold. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to run to the top of these stairs. I'm going to go right down here where these guys are actually already kind of congregating here, which I don't really want. I'm going to make sure I don't actually accidentally punch them. I want to... You know what? This is bad. Move them all out of the way with that bit of gold. Then we'll mine our way into here. We're going to mine this. We're going to break this. Okay. And then once I build up here, block this off, break all of that so that they can actually get through. Once I mine a gold block, they're all going to get very angry and come through. So I mine all those up. Craft all my gold into ingots. Stick that just there. Notice how they're all just below me now. Have all of that, guys. All right. You're all going to love it. We just wait a little bit. Whilst they're trading that, I can put some blocks. I'll have to, excuse me, sir. You need, don't you push everybody out. This is very annoying. They'll all go back in, I'm sure. There we go. He's in. That'll do. They're all in there. They're all trading in there for me. Now they're all down here. We can steal their stuff in the chest. We want obsidian. We've got obsidian. Do we want crying obsidian? I'm going to take that. I'm going to take the gold as well. And as you can see, they're all trading down there for me. These pearls. There's, there's everything I could dream of. You know what? They can take the rest of the gold. I could loot the chest down at the bottom, but... I've already got all the obsidian I need. I do want a bit more string, but those guys will give it to me. Let's go and chuck away this. I don't need prismarine crystals. And now we release them since they're no longer mad at me. And we see what beautiful loot they've got. Look at this. I'm so rich. It's beautiful. We've got everything we could ever have dreamed of here. Look at that. I've got all the wool I need thanks to the string. I'm absolutely spoiled for choice. I can make more glowstone. Let's go and do that. Obviously, if I was in an actual speedrun, I would have done it a bit faster. I would have been explaining it, trying to concentrate on talking and doing that. But look at all this. We've got like... Nearly four stacks of pearls. So much fire resistance. I mean, you couldn't ask for more than that. We might as well just be purling our way around the nether now in search of a fortress. Don't know how I feel about ender pearling around. I only have three golden carrots. I completely forgot about that. I'm going to have to try and find more mushrooms. Although I must say, ender pearling is the only way to get around one of these biomes. I do not like having to walk through soul sand, but the ender pearl, it's so much quicker. I found brown mushrooms. We're back in business with food. It's with great sadness that I'm going to have to throw away some of these pearls. It's, it's just a little bit over the top. And now mushroom stew is on the menu. At long last, a fortress has been found, okay? I've, I managed to get more mushrooms as well. We've got plenty of food. I've got plenty of fire res. Let's get these blaze rods. The only bit of fancy tech I'm going to use with this blaze spawner is to go something like this. Blow it up. And now there's less blocks around the spawner, we're going to get more blazes spawning. And then the smart move here is to build a little platform at the back. So that the blaze, when you hit them, you're not hitting them off the edge here. You're hitting them back towards the land. And there we go. I have eight blaze rods. That's more than enough. I'm going to build a portal. I think we're ready to go to the stronghold. There we go. I've just realized we have absolutely no fire charges. So we're going to have to do a bit of, bit of work and get some flint. Now we can light it. <laughs> we know where we're going to end up. Somewhere in the water. Got my old subspace bubble thing. I'm going to get my boat out. In fact, let's make some eyes of Ender. Which way are we headed? Uh, I think it's it. I literally lost that eye of Ender completely. Don't think it ever threw. Wait. Are you telling me that there's no stronghold nearby? The Eye of Ender will not work. I've been sailing around. The Eye of Ender will not work. So we've successfully answered that question. Can you beat Minecraft in a world that's all ocean? Well, no. No, you can't. Well, that's only if you select any of the deep ones. I guess strongholds can't generate in oceans that are that deep. If you select a regular ocean here, I'm pretty sure it works. Okay, never mind. When I select that one, the Eye of Ender still don't work. There's no stronghold. I do know kind of why this happens. Strongholds cannot generate in oceans or swamp biomes. However, if it can't find any land nearby, it still will spawn in the ocean, which is what I thought it would do here. But I guess it doesn't. So you cannot beat Minecraft in a world that is all ocean. But that's a bit anticlimactic. I want to show some new tech in the end as well. So I'm going to create an end portal, which means I've got to do all sorts of fancy cheats like open to land and allow cheats. If I do slash set block end portal. All right, we're in. So my plan here is to try and beat the Ender Dragon using respawn anchors. The first thing I need to do to do this is do something fancy like this. Stand on top. I hope he's not perching right now. Do this. Do this. He's perching, isn't he? Is he perching? Are you kidding me? <laughs> but I don't want it to perch. It perches. And then I'm going to do something known as north-south, which isn't going to work brilliantly because the dragon is already perched. But the next time it perches, 
it'll work fine. So now it's back up, flying around. The optimal position for me to tower up to is Y122, and that is going to make it guaranteed to perch from the opposite end, and then I can kill it with the respawn anchors and any beds if I need them. The dragon is now perching. As you can see, it has perched directly opposite me. That's the beauty of that. Okay, now let's try and do uh, do this. So when it turns, and again, I need to get the bed in there. Okay, I've kind of messed up this bed bit a little bit. Let's just do some terrible beds. That's okay. One more bed. I used a lot of beds, but I kind of Kind of messed that bit up, but there we go. The Ender Dragon's been defeated. Shame we couldn't beat it in a world that's all ocean, but hopefully you still enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new, and you might enjoy the video that's on screen where I beat Minecraft without mining.